hello everybody welcome back to natural skincare school youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use a water bath water bath it's a good a better upgrade okay when you are making lotion i know some of you use a double boiler which is very convenient i mean you can you can use your pot to form and to do a makeshift double boiler and it's not nothing bad about that but if you want to really upgrade i always encourage my students at naturalskincareschool.com to go for water bath water baths are especially thermostatic water bath a water bath that that has thermostat where you are able to control the temperature okay you're able to control it up and down and uh, it's very is a good thing to start with so i have different water bath here on my desk i have the h1 and also i have the h2 the bigger version this is what i use for a bigger um, formulation when i want to make up to uh, sometime up to 10 liter i use this now so this one it's a good way to start h hhs1 look in the description box below for where you can get your own now the importance of water bath is that you can control the temperature it helps to melt your uh, oil better to warm your water but better in a more professional way it prevents uh, contamination okay instead of having to go to the stove to put your uh, to put your makeshift double boiler here and there and there. but you can do everything on your on your formulation desk okay with a water bath so now i'm going to show you how to use a water bath so look in the description box below to get this uh this is the brand i've been using for a while now it doesn't break down on me it's very very stable i highly recommend this or something similar but this is good look in the description box below for where you can get your own now so what you do now if you want to use a water bath make sure your water bath is clean try to clean it occasionally to remove any impurities okay it's very it's very important when you are making formulation you really want to remove contamination you want to keep it at base so basically you clean your water bath once in a while because sometimes you will notice that it is white so that whitish stuff you can use a rubbing alcohol to spray it and you can clean it so that's just the part of the maintenance part now come to the usage part what you do is you you use distilled water okay uh you can use regular tap water but the problem with using regular tap water in your water bath is that you're going to have a lot of sediments okay remember distilled water is uh, purified water that you can use easily so a lot of impurities that forms all this uh, yucky yucky mess okay have been removed so you are good to go so make sure you use distilled water so the first thing you want to do is to turn on your water bath usually it comes with a plug i have a plug here you just plug it at the back here be careful when working electricity you have to tell yourself okay please keep that in mind so once you have plugged it in you're going to put in your water but before i put in i want to show you something i'm not sure if you can see because if i put in the water it's not going to really help i'll turn it on shortly and i'm going to show you something so put in your water turn it on okay then you can control the temperature from here right you can either you know you, you press you can increase the temperature okay when you press set right now it's at 78 degrees celsius so you can increase it up using this you can bring it down using this okay bring it down using this bring it up using so once you get the temperature right you press set and it stops right there so you press set okay and that's all you need now i will turn that off so basically you pour your water in I turn that home before putting water. Don't turn it on without water. Okay, make sure there's water in it before you turn it on. So, pour your water in. So once you're set with that, what you want to do is you have, remember, we have the oil. 
we have the oil face and the water face when you are making your lotion right so you put in your oil face ingredient in the beaker sorry i have a lot of uh, messy become my desk this morning i was doing a project that involves a lot of clay anyway so you put in your water face ingredient okay here then in another beaker you put in your oil face ingredient remember the way i showed you the other time depending on what you are doing i think you you have a better idea when you put in your water face ingredient use a, a foil to cover it okay put in your oil face ingredient in another beaker and use your foil to cover it then you can put both in your water bath okay so for, just for the for the purpose of showing i'm going to just put water in there in both so put your ingredient in different beakers i'm going to do a video shortly that i'm going to be using um water bath so i will show you how that is done so put in your just as you mean okay i'm not cover it okay i'm putting it both in your water bath then you cover it this water bath you're going to need a beaker of at least 100 ml we have to cover it a beaker with 100 ml i think up to 250 will do also so beaker up to 250 uh, all my beakers are broken i really need to get a new set of beakers so you put your beakers in then you cover you cover it okay this is how you use a water bath and you turn it on from where i showed you before turn it on and make sure you set your temperature if you are making lotion remember the temperature of lotion uh, I want to make it to be 70 degrees Celsius, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to set it to maybe 75 degrees Celsius or because of the heat difference, okay? Remember, the, this is going to take some heat. So that's the, it's going to dissipate the heat and make sure at least it's 78 degrees Celsius when you are making your lotion. So make sure you set it to 78 degrees from where I showed you before. I can't do that now because I have water in there. So that's exactly what you do and just cover it and wait for your oil and butter to melt. So basically, since this is there, all you have to do is just open this. Or you can even lift it if you want and just check your oil and butter. Check from here, you'll be able to see it. And I'm using borosilicate beaker. Look in the description box below for where to get your own borosilicate beaker why i recommend borosilicate beaker for thermostatic water beds is because they are good with it okay you won't have to worry that they are going to break right so this is what we use and this is basically how you use your water bath you can use this water bath to melt anything you want to melt even to uh increase the temperature of water even to warm your water even to melt uh, your oils even to melt glycerin when you're making infusions and so on and so forth so a very very dandy uh tool that you need when you are making lotion so i hope this video has helped you out if you have any question about using water bath or the brand to use or general question about you know what you use to make your your product feel free to drop a comment in the comment box below remember this is a channel for you if you want to improve your formulation skill this is the official channel for naturalskincareschool.com where i teach my student one project at a time how to make stable and uh, safe skincare products so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload my next video thanks for watching